Hey, Captain Joe Rains here. Thanks for coming to Head First Fishing. Today I'm going to discuss with you some must-have lures that you need in your tackle box. We're a couple weeks away from fall. I've already started getting into the topwater bite. I'm focusing on late in the afternoon under overcast skies when I can get them. That has turned the topwater bite on. And that bite is only going to get better as we get further into fall. As we get cooler temperatures, the water creeps down into the low 80s and upper 70s that artificial lure bite is gonna be on fire. So I wanna show you some of the lures that I've got in my box that you should stop by our sponsor stores, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters. Number one, we're gonna start with a soft plastic. This is a soft plastic bait fish imitation twitch bait, jerk bait. That thing looks like the real deal. That's the live target twitch and minnow. Really, really good looking bait. I'll pull one out for you. This is a really good shallow water bait. It's also great for a variety of situations, but it definitely shines when you have a chance of snagging a lot of grass. You can take a weedless worm hook, rig it up, and you can cast this out and work it back, and you can let it go down in the grass, and it won't snag. Bring it back out, work it around, let it go down. The fish are going to notice that. They're going to come investigate, and when they think they can pounce on it, they'll slurp that sucker in whole. The Rapala Subwalk is similar to its brother, the Rapala Skitterwalk, except it stays below the surface. Walk the dog with it, you can pause it, but generally you can keep it going and you'll catch a lot of fish just keeping a steady retrieve with this lure. I always keep a bunch of surface lures in my tackle box. The tried and true lure is the Head and Super Spook, and this is a phenomenal snook bait. Redfish eat it, jacks eat it. Big trout eat it. This is the full size super spook, and this is the one that's going to catch the biggest fish. You'll catch average and small fish on it as well. The super spook junior is very popular. It catches a lot of fish. You'll catch some big fish with it too. But if you're concerned about catching the biggest snook on the flat, throw the super spook. That's the one you want. Next up, we got the Rapala Skitterwalk. This is my go to topwater walk the dog lure. That Head and Super Spook is amazing, but I just like how easy I can make this thing dance. This lure has an absolutely amazing walk to it, casts like a bullet. It's got great rattles in it, comes in a variety of colors. I like this kind of lime green and silver color. It's got a good flash, little orange mouth on it. The eyes on it look great, really good looking eyes. Hooks are strong. Highly recommend the Rapala Skitterwalk. Again, my go-to surface lure. Big fish and small fish alike will hit it. Next on the list, we got the Rapala Skitter V. This is kind of a modified skitter walk. It has a V-hole bottom like a boat. And Rapala says it makes it easier to make it twitch and glide. So with just a little bit of a touch of the rod tip, it will glide further than the other baits. So that's a really cool feature on that one. I like this pink color. That's a really good color. It stands out for sure on the surface of the water. Highly recommend you investigate the Rapala Skitter V. The last baits I have on my list are the Yozuri Hydro Pencil. Really solid topwater walk the dog lure. I got them in a natural pattern. You can see inside that clear body there's actually a realistic looking bait fish pattern. And then I got that high vis kind of lime green color with the clear body. Really good rattles in these lures. They cast really well. The action walking back and forth is really good. Highly recommend the Yozuri Hydro Pencil. I hope these lure tips have pointed you in the right direction for your fall inshore fishing. Check out St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, and Tarpon Fishing Outfitters. It's a place where you can find these lures and get fitted to fish. If you have any fishing questions, email headfirstfishing at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button, and I'll see you later.